literally one minute you've got everything that you wanted in life, the next minute it's it must be gone. Quite, I mean, that it must have been tough. I think if my dating life was a Disney film, it would have to be Rapunzel because she's stuck in the tower and she's never been on a date either. So this is my first date ever. This is a special day for you, Holly. How brilliant. Being 31 and having a first date, I don't know any etiquette. Do you take the drink? Do you not take the drink? Do you pay the bill? I've... I have no idea. What are you looking for? I love a bit of Jack Black. A bit of meat on them. So you something to hold on to. Something, yeah. <laughs> so a dream for me right now would be to find someone, have the whole marriage, kids, grow old together, happily ever after. Hiya. Also seeking his happily ever after is Holly's date, telecoms engineer Paul. My friends would describe me as the nicest person in the world. Do you think that women like a nice guy? <laughs> There's a saying that nice guys always finish last, isn't there? Women do tend to go for the bad boys, uh, a bit more edgier. I'm not going to change myself. I will always be a nice guy. Hey there. How are you? Hi, uh, yeah, not too bad. Thank you, yourself? Good, thank you. And I think there are the right ladies that look for that out there, so... That's what you're holding on to? I think so, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling today? Uh, a little bit nervous, to be honest. Are you? So, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But, uh... <laughs> I'm not the most confident person in the world, to be honest with you. I'm not a serial dater. I've never gone up to a girl in a club and ha ha had a dance, had a kiss. I haven't got a problem chatting. It's just I get nervous. What kind of girl are you looking for? Uh, kind of a sweet and innocent, more homely type of girl, more natural. Sweet and homely? Yeah, yeah. Definitely not looking for someone who's a party animal. I am looking for someone who is looking to settle down, that does want the family home life in the future. Hiya. Hello. Hi, I'm Paul. Hello. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Do we do the... Thing. Yeah. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Okay. Paul. Yes. I'm Holly. Hiya, Holly. This is very... This is my first flying date ever, I think. So, really... This is my first date full start. Really? Oh, wow. So, I, um... <gasps> <laughs> it's, 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 I think with with a with a first blind date, there's so much because because you you've not spoken to somebody. There's just so much to yeah, so much to, to find out, out and just, conversations, yeah. which is good. Yeah. To say. Um, do you mind? If I ask how old you are, Belle. I do not mind. No, I will be 32 on Sunday. Okay. Uh, next Sunday. Really? Okay. Well. Yeah. I am um, 29, so... You're 29? 29, yeah. The cougar. Oh. <laughs> you, don't, you do not, you do not. No, so thank you. I'm sure we'll have a, a good day. So here's to the, uh, here's to the day. So, Cheers. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. First dates can be awkward, can't they? Yeah. Think once, once you get the... If you get the first five, ten minutes awkwardness out of the way, it's about, they're about getting to know somebody a bit Yeah, more, really, absolutely. So. I'm not the most confident person in the world. Okay. One thing I am not is an alpha male. Yeah. Are you such a family orientated person? Yeah. I can't wait to have one of my own one day. Yes, yeah, so... I can't wait for the whole white wedding. Yeah. <laughs> my sister said, whatever you do, don't go in there and go, kids, wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. It, it, I'm going to try a bit of a and beefy um, one. <laughs> try and... tackle this. This is not going to be anything good. It's fine, I'm going to do the same. Oh, my word. The hair. Oh, dear. <laughs> my mum will be telling me off right now. Oh, it's, to be honest, you are who you are. It, there's no point trying to be someone you're not. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's, that's fine, no worries. No, oh, you look really nice. You do too. Thank you. So what about um, your dating history then? Last relationship was about 11 years. Okay. And we were engaged and we were trying for a family. About two years ago, um, he had a accident and suffered a traumatic brain injury. You know, he will, he will need care for the rest of his life. I mean, that must have been quite hard. Yeah. To see someone that you love so much hooked up to machines, you just want to shake them and say, wake up. But you know that's not going to work.
literally one minute you've got everything that you wanted in life, the next minute it's it must be gone. Great. I mean, that it must have been tough. He will always be such an important part of my life, but we can't have the relationship that we once had. He can't tell me, move on or stay. He can't tell me that. So having to make this decision for the two of us is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. That has been very difficult. That, that must have been a hard... Sorry. No, that's OK. No, I'm so this will be my first date um, since my decision to, uh, to uh, start over again. I can't put my life on pause forever. I can't stay the way that I have been because he is getting all the help that he needs and I will continue to be there. I have thought of nothing but him the whole time we were together and the whole time after. And now it's time to think about myself. It's, you know, taught me to know what I want from life and just grab life and just go for it. You seem a lovely person, so it's, it's, it's nice there. Thank you. It's, it's nice. It's... I think if we had any more drink left, I'd say cheers and drink. <laughs> we can still do the cheers. Just cheers and, sort of and just, the yeah, yeah. I don't have a type, but I love girls with long straight hair, so. Uh, well, I had hair that literally reached my back. Really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's really nice. Yeah. I'm unfortunately going the opposite way. I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm going with yeah, hair. It, it's a bit bad. Um, my dad's got a thick black moustache, and everyone says if I grew a moustache, I'd look like him. So oh. um, I can't grow up. I, I prefer like this. This yeah. is mine. Yeah, I debated the same whether to grow my beard or. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I got this, thank you. Oh, you are nice. Sweet you are a gentleman. Would you two like to see each other again? Maybe you first. Yes, I would. I think I'd like to get to know you some more. Um, yeah. No. I would too, yes. OK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, no. It, it was, yeah. it, it was. I had a lovely time. That was a really, yeah, yeah really good day. I did as well. I'd like to get you to know you more too. Yeah, so. I would too. It's a match. <laughs> 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 I like that you're a traditional, old school gentleman, and they're so hard to find. And how you dive straight in with what you want in your life, in your future. That was a lovely meeting. Yeah, no, it was really, really lovely. Nice. And the way you listened to what I had to say about sort of my my last relationship. You know, you, you understood that and, and you accepted it and you listened to what I had to say about that, which was really important to me.